Here's Grandpapa's room. Okay, son, we're gonna leave you here with Nurse Mary Quinzoni. Make sure you do what she says, because she's second in command. Okay, honey, you be good for Grandpapa and Nurse Mary, okay? We'll see you soon. Have fun robot shopping! Hi, Grandpapa! Grandpa, are you looking at that dumb old moon again? Don't you call the moon dumb. You're the dumb one if you call the moon dumb. Let me tell you about the moon, son why it's amazing. Now, nobody knew the moon was going to fall out of the sky when it did. Although afterwards, we kind of expected it, you know what I mean? Thankfully, it landed on Australia, a continent completely devoid of use. <laughs> Suddenly, all of the ages were reversed. The youngsters got old, the oldsters got young. Preschools, full of elderly people. The Senate, a bunch of babies. So the governments of the world got together and they decided, hey, let's get one of the other planets that nobody's using, you know? Maybe they could be the new moon. So they thought, all right, all right, what, what do we got here? Oh, Jupiter, huh? Jupiter would be a good moon, right? You're completely wrong. It would be a terrible moon. It's far too big to be a moon. What about Mercury, huh? Is that a planet more to your liking? Maybe this could be the no. Far too small. Not moon material. What about Mars, huh? Ha <laughs> likes Mars! No. Sure, you could pick Mars, but then you'd have to deal with the smell, if you know what I mean. So, they decided, let's have a contest. Let's see who can make the best moon. They made one out of wood, they made one out of straw, they made one out of brick, and they all failed. We're getting killed on this moon project, people. What we need is a product that we can make a good moon out of, and we'll stick together well. So when we asked ourselves, what sticks together and makes a good moon? Magnets. 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 <laughs> well, Hun, why don't you go out in the hallway and call your parents and let them know what a good time you're having with Grandpa. I have to give Grandpa his space bills. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure they'd love to hear from me. They'd love to hear from me. They would love to hear from me. Hello? Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, son. How is it? Yeah, no, uh, everything's great. Uh, Grandpa's telling me the most wonderful story about the moon. Oh, Grandpa and his stories. Well, son, I can't talk now. Your mother and I have some very important paperwork to fill out. Have fun picking out the new, uh, robot. All set in here. Thank you for being so patient. Good boy. Robot, 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 robot. <laughs> Where was I? Magnets. Ha <laughs> ha, magnets, huh? How about that? That's where it is. We thought, what do we got a lot of that we're not really using? I mean, what did you ever use a magnet for? To hold, to hold receipts on the fridge for products you never bought or to save coupons for restaurants that may have never existed. So, that's what we did. We made the moon out of magnets. <laughs> and that's why you see so much silverware in the ocean. Is that why we use plastic forks? No. Excuse me, gentlemen, but your mommy and daddy are here with the new robot. I'll miss you. You hear that? The new robot? The new robot! I, I, Grandpa, will I ever see you again? Yes! I mean, I hope so. Does not compute. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
This is the story how the moon fell into the earth And hit Australia and made all the ages reverse They replaced it with a magnet They replaced it with a magnet This is the story how the moon fell into the earth Australia and me.